Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. If you're ever running low on smoker fuel, anything that's 100% cotton works great. That would include old jeans, t-shirts, underwear with the waistbands cut off. Now these are some boxes that I haven't been in in quite some time. So I don't know what I'm going to find in here. I'm gonna find a mess. Big fat girl. Black widow eggs. Looks like you need to throw some frames in that hive. There's a bunch of drone brood and honey dripping out of it. Clean this thing up. The rest of the box looks good. I think I'm gonna take this top box off. And uh No, both those bottom deeps are full too. This top box is a wreck. <laughs> I've got four brand new frames in here they haven't touched. The bottom box looks slam full. I got plenty of drones here, guarantee. So I'm gonna have to go through this box and look for queen cells. She's a big old girl. I'm gonna name her Judy. Big booty Judy. I'm just flipping this lid upside down on top of the stack so they have a cover on them while I'm working. I don't have to leave the box open while I clean this up. I had to go back and look at some old videos to figure out how long it's been since I've been in this box. And I think it's right at two months. Maybe a little maybe a little over two months I, I didn't do anything with it all summer I just kind of left them alone I didn't pull any honey off of them this year at all and it wasn't because I couldn't or didn't want to I just was so busy didn't have the time so here we are at nearing the end of summer about to go into fall and I just want to make sure everything's cool with them a lot of people ask how, how much work is involved with beekeeping and it really kind of depends depends a lot on your area depends on what kind of bees you have it depends on if you're feeding or not uh, I didn't feed mine at all this year that that I recall but as you can see they've been getting nectar from somewhere and still filling this hive with honey even through the summer a lot of baby drones in this hive here's that drone brood honey is about ready to cap it's really nice color Very nice flavor. Very similar to doing a cutout when you're cleaning a hive up like this, you'll want a bucket of water to clean your hands and your tools because it does get kind of messy. I'm really pretty surprised about how nice this hive looks. I expected to see a few hundred hive beetles corralled in a corner somewhere and I've only seen, I think, three since I opened the box. So, not bad. Good job, girls. I like when I, when I see a hive like that just as healthy as they can be they just need a little help cleaning up is all move it move it I gotta tear this down y'all got to go
today is August 30th, I believe, 29th or 30th. I don't keep track of the days. When they get honey bound like this, and when they're as well fed as these are, they still can swarm even this late in the season. Happens all the time. That's the lid, and I'm going for the box. I'm about to remove the top box to get this piece out. I tried to pull it up and it's totally wax welded to these tops of these frames. I imagine this is all gonna be the same way. I tried to open this box uh, a couple weeks ago with no smoke, and they kind of jumped on me, and I'm sure that I dropped all this when I did that because all I did was crack the back edge of the lid a little bit. It's been about a week ago I guess and I'm sure I knocked all that down at that time. I was playing with a new app called Periscope and I tried to open this box. I opened one of them on Periscope but I tried to open this one and they went nuts and I guess it was because I had destroyed all that comb and dropped it down in the box. So I'm about to remedy that problem. So I've been playing with a couple of new apps. One of them is Periscope, the other is Instagram. I'm not doing a whole lot on them, just, just uh, figuring them out and learning about them, playing with them a little bit. But I'm set up a 628 Dirt Rooster on both of those. Most of you know what, what uh, Instagram is, and Periscope is a live streaming type deal where you can I guess probably do the same thing you can do on Google with the uh, what's it called Google Google Hangouts you can do the same thing as that except for the video is on my side you're viewing what I'm doing real time and you can comment or ask questions real time as the as I'm doing whatever I'm doing like if I was doing this you could you could real time comment and ask ask me to flip the comb over or ask me if I found the queen or whatever and of course I have to be watching the screen to see comments so it doesn't uh, you know you questions don't always get answered but it's still a pretty cool app and you can watch anybody in the world and unlike Google Hangout where the number of people in it is limited Periscope is unlimited whoever finds you and wants to watch can hang out This is all drone brood on one side and all capped honey on the back between the comb and the foundation on this frame here. I can't really harvest it. Uh, I could scrape down this side if I wanted to go that trouble. What I'll do is I'll just set this out here in front of the hives and let them rob it back out. I gotta run these girls down in the box, get them out of my way before I start crushing them. Man, that's just some thick honey. Thick, thick honey on one side, drone brood on the other. I don't like to run all that honey down in my hives, so I'm past the drone brood now. These two pieces right here look like they're pretty much all honey except for a little bit of drone brood on the inside of this one here. So I'm going to try to 
take them out in one piece. Maybe take the box off. Yeah, let me see if I can take the box off without destroying any more and running honey down in there. You can see my bees are not starving, not even close. I'm looking around to, to try to see what they're getting. There's a little bit of honeysuckle, but I don't really see much of anything else. I don't know what they're eating, but they're liking it, whatever it is. I'm gonna take as much honey as I can find in here, pretty much. I don't concern myself with my bees starving out over the winter, because I do feed. You know, we're in the south, we have to. They fly all winter, so if you don't feed, you run a good chance of them starving out. I'm gonna open these boxes and see what they look like. If they've got any good full cap frames, I'm gonna take those two. And I'll feed them back up. But we're about to have a goldenrod bloom, so I wanna take out any of the good honey. Leave them with the goldenrod honey for the winter. Yeah, they're all doing good. I'm really surprised because I haven't opened any of these in, uh, since the beginning of June, I think. Things heavy. It's gonna be full of honey. It's really heavy. I see a few queen cups right here, but I don't see any queen cells at all. Unless that's one. I don't think it is. A... No. Looks good. Oh, that's honey. Oh, that's honey. Oh, that's honey. They were pretty well honey bound. I don't know what the bottom box is going to look like. I'm going to have to pull it apart. This is pretty common on plastic foundation unless you have one that's already pretty well drawn out they'll do they'll draw it out in a spotty pattern which doesn't concern me a lot as long as they fill it up with honey yeah there's another good one that one's going home with me as soon as i pull these stingers out of my fingers next one over it's got a lot of honey in it but it's getting brewed at the bottom of it I pulled out a couple more frames that were full of honey and I'm into the brood now the brood started right here I moved this brood frame over and I'm gonna put a drawn out frame in the middle of the brood frames Okay, now I'm breaking into this next stack over. The honey super is slap full. I'm fixing to just take the whole box off. Oh Lord, that can't be right. These two here, bottom one's looking pretty good. 
the top one's the one I put those five new frames in. And since some of that drone comb had some trash in it, and I want them to work on that rather than new stuff, I'm gonna leave it top box off for three or four days, and then I'll come back and put a another deep brood box or a honey super on top of it. And that'll be it. I'm done with these for today. I'm fixing to go extract some honey. That one will be easy to skin.